just want to show you a few more things you can do with a basketball or volleyball just for dexterity and warm-ups and that kind of stuff so fun stuff yeah, that's a bunch of things so bear with me you toss the ball without using your thumbs get fast or slow then you can try to do something like this I don't know if that looks Okay, you gotta have really light, soft touch on the fingers to keep that going. Okay, and we got this one right here. It's good, it's good for the back. You can kind of get a little movement into it, or you can kind of have more, use more hands and arms by keeping the body still, you know, the, the hips neutral. And then keeping every, and, and trying to do that in this next exercise or warm up drill makes it even more tough. You'll notice you'll get really, um, you'll get a little worn out as far as the muscles around the stomach and the core area when you do this one. That one could be a little more tiring. Okay, okay so all those. Reiterate what this one was like. See the real soft touch of the fingers to do something like that. And you could be creative and come up with something on your own. A particular type of ball with the right kind of surface makes a big difference too. This one's kind of really good for that. And we've shown these before. This one. But you could do variations where you could have different numbers lined up. So let's go five, four, three, two, one. But when we get to one, we'll stay at one until the ball drops or you get too tired. So watch, it'll be, it's basically five right, five left. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Toss it with that touch, that dexterity that you've developed in the fingers. Quick. By this time, start to get tired, you know, a little bit in the lungs, a little bit breathing. But around here, you get really, it feels really good. It doesn't burn like a typical exercise does because you're kind of just, the movement's different. So you're definitely getting a lot of blood flowing to that area because it's, it's really involved. Blood's being diverted there. But the movement is so subtle. And it's a great warm-up and all those are good warm-ups remember the ones between the legs and then the one where you catch that's see see where you got to be stable right here that's challenging the ones where you go in between like this it's not as challenging so try that if if the other one's too hard and have fun with that come up with your own let me know if you come up with 